we haven't changed a single thing on this house from what the designer initially drew up until now that is and it feels a little uncomfortable because eric really knows what he's doing but we got a small modification that i think is going to work better for us let me show you what it is and see if you agree all right this is the laundry room here see this door we're going to switch this to a pocket door the first thing is to assemble and install the frame and this is it it's from cavity slider and you pros can already see the difference between this and a more standard residential pocket door. This one's made from extruded aluminum and it assembles very quick and easy. Jesse had never seen one before and he put it together in no time flat. The instructions were a lot like a piece of Ikea furniture, but unlike Ikea, this thing is super duper heavy duty. I think it's rated to support up to a 500 pound door. A standard residential pocket door comes on this real lightweight frame because those doors are really lightweight, but not this one. This one is gonna be serious business. It comes from Realcraft. That's the same folks who made the front door. You might've seen that. Realcraft and Cavity Slider donated their product to us on this project at no cost. So huge thanks to them for supporting Essential Craftsman and in particular, in this case, supporting my wife, basically, who's beyond thrilled with this setup and that's probably actually an understatement. She is completely ecstatic. And if you saw our current laundry room, you would understand why. Here's the frame going in the space. Now half of this is gonna be covered by drywall. So let's fast forward to that part of the project. But first, let's watch the door get built. Well, the doors that Realcraft makes are as custom as it gets. As you can see, they start with raw wood, they cut it to length, they make it exactly to your specifications. This door is made out of ash. Hopefully you saw the other video with the front door, that door was oak. I think oak and ash are kind of a similar material. They're both really hard and kind of a light natural color, at least the white oak. But Realcraft makes doors out of lots of exotic woods also and some, I would say, exotic doors. This door is a, you know, pocket door is fairly simple, but they're making round top doors, pivot doors, carriage doors, barn doors, just every kind of door under the sun. So check out their Instagram page. It'll really, it'll knock your socks off. All right, we got the door on site, and in the meantime, the drywallers and the painters have been here, so we are ready to hang it. And now you can see why that frame needed to be so sturdy. The door is heavy. It weighs about 120 pounds. The installation is just so slick. It slips up onto these little pins. You push over a little locking tab, and that is it. The door slides back and forth on the track just as smooth as butter. And then to top it all off, when you pull it close, it hits a soft close piston. So it just gently closes rather than smash into the jam. It's just so elegant. Here's Jesse putting all the casing on it. And in this case, that behind Jesse there, that's the master bedroom. This is gonna be great for blocking sound out of the laundry room.
Well, Mike and Jesse are back tackling all the other finished carpentry items now, which means installing all the other doors and the door casings and the baseboards and all that. The most interesting thing, though, is this mantle. This is something that Ali saw online and she really loved it and she showed it to Mike a long time ago and was basically like, what do you think, Mike? You think you can do it? And I think he took that as a challenge because he said, absolutely. And so it looks simple, but you guys may know sometimes the simple stuff is just as or even more complex than the elaborate stuff. Mike here is the general contractor on this job and Jesse here is his twin brother. They've been building houses for a long time. They've seen it all. And I think Mike kind of enjoys this part of the project where he gets to put the tools on and do the part of the work that he's good at, that he likes the most, which is this super detailed carpentry stuff. I think we can all relate to that. There's something nice about picking up tools and doing some work. It kind of can clear your head from the other parts of a job that might be more stressful or annoying or, you know, complicated. And when, especially when you're good at something, you can just really get in the zone. You can tell these guys have worked together a lot. They can basically read each other's mind while they're doing a project like this. Between that pocket door and now all this finished carpentry, Allie's basically over the moon walking through the house, which is really fun to see. There's one more major piece of finished carpentry to show, which is gonna be the railing that goes along these stairs. But I'm gonna show all that in a later video. In fact, it might be the very last video because that should be the very last thing done before we can move in. This crew's gotta come back for that and a few other finishing touches like installing all the doorknobs and towel bars, that sort of stuff. There's kind of lots of things that fall between the cracks of the normal subcontractors that the general contractor has to swoop in and take care of like the doorknobs but also appliances and putting all the window screens back in and lots of different parts of cleanup and cleaning and stuff so mike has all of that accounted for and will take care of it on the next trip after the kitchen flooring fixtures are all in thanks again to real craft and cavity slider for providing this door and frame and if you're having a house built or if you're a builder Go to their website or Instagram, even if it's just for the inspiration, you will be amazed at the feel that a custom door can add to a home. Thanks for watching. Keep up the good work. We'll catch you next time.